A video featuring Vladimir Putin is going viral. The Russian president was at a memorial when an old woman asked if $190, the minimum wage in Russia, is enough to lead a decent life. Here's how Putin responded. He's the all-powerful president of Russia. He commands the fifth largest army and shares the stage regularly with global leaders. But in his hometown of St. Petersburg, Vladimir Putin was grilled by a middle-aged Russian woman and that too on the streets in front of cameras. The woman seen here asking the Russian president if he could survive on 10,800 rubles a month which is about $170, the minimum wage in parts of Russia. After grilling her president, the woman promptly asked Putin for a picture. But optics aside, Putin and the Russian administration have a lot to solve. According to the World Population Review, Russia has among the lowest hourly minimum wages across Europe. In fact, Russia even lags behind Poland, while World War era rivals like France and Germany are far, far ahead. In fact, 14% of the entire Russian population lives below the poverty line. That's over 20 million people. Even though the minimum wage in Russia has been raised nearly three times over the last eight years, it is nowhere close to the standards enjoyed by residents of other European powers. But the whole episode begs the question, was this confrontation just a publicity stunt to project the ex-KGB man as a man of the people? In 2009, a bare-chested Putin was pictured riding his horse during a camping holiday in Siberia, before enjoying a meal with a local outside the village of Kizil. Cameras were also present when he flew with endangered Serbian cranes in a hang glider. But arguably, the most bizarre stunt of all was when Putin found ancient Greek pottery fragments in the Black Sea. Russian administration had to admit that the event was staged. Vladimir Putin has his finger on arguably the biggest nuclear arsenal on the planet. And judging by how long he's been at the helm in Russia, Putin very well understands the pulse of his own nation. Bureau Report, we on, World is One. It's not just these orchestrated viral videos. Putin is everywhere in Russia, on mugs, on fridge magnets, on keychains. The president, who has remained in power for 20 years, does not want to be seen just as Russia's strongman. He wants to be the country's best-selling face and best-known cultural icon. Under the onion domes of St. Petersburg's churches, there's one face that peers out from the souvenir stalls. Vladimir Putin. 20 years after coming to power, Putin is omnipresent. Not only in Russian media, but also on mugs, magnets and matryoshka dolls. The tourists are happy to oblige the souvenir vendors. Perhaps it's the flattering images of the Russian president that help in painting the Kremlin's portrait of Putin as the father of the nation. The 67-year-old world leader took office in 2000 after the resignation of Boris Yeltsin. With an approval rating of 80%, he remained high on popularity, especially after Russia's annexation of Crimea from Ukraine in 2014. But now, Putin's ratings have slumped along with Russia's economy. Interestingly, for souvenir vendors, Putin is still a hit. There was a certain peak after the last election and it was a big wave. But it subsided after. But he is still popular. Meet Alexei Sergeyenko, a painter and a businessman who has been cashing in on Putin for years. So much so, one of his exhibitions devoted to Putin was titled President, a Man with a Good Soul. Be it Putin as Iron Man stopping a meteorite from crashing into Earth, or Putin, the animal lover, the walls of Sargeyenko's studio are lined with pop art pictures of the Russian president. 
Vladimir Putin has become a figure equal to Che Guevara and Mahatma Gandhi, or somewhere between the two. He is an iconic leader. He is without doubt the symbol of power, the symbol of the defense of traditional values. And when it comes to Putin's propaganda, clearly there are no limits. As a tribute to Putin's two decades in power, the Kremlin has launched a website displaying archival footage of the former KGB chief. While Putin's memorabilia looks set to be a Russian mainstay, his propaganda is remarkably reminiscent of North Korea and its chairman Kim Jong-un. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.